Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Stability AI's new release, Deep Floyd IF. This is a cascaded pixel model where it basically, it's like Midjourney, it's like Stable Diffusion, but it has a few things it can do that Midjourney, for example, can't do. And I'm looking right at it. Here it is. I put in a prompt that says, a sign over a door that says beer. And look at that. It spelled it correctly. You can go into Midjourney a thousand times and ask it to do this a thousand times. And a thousand times, it won't get the text right because it can't do text to image in this way. So you can't get proper text integration. So that's what I really, really, really love about Deep Floyd IF. That's not the only thing. But anyways, let's start from scratch and I'm gonna show you how I did this. So if you want to follow along and create your own prompts, all you gotta do is go to huggingface.co and then go to this link. I will put a link in the description below so you can go there and you can begin using it. Now, I will state up front here that this is still not quite ready for public consumption. It's sort of in that research. It's about to be released, but it's still, it can be used on Hugging Face and you can mess around with it and get used to it. So like I did in the last one, a sign on a door that says, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, wine, something like that, right? You can do that. You can enter negative prompts. You can click generate. Note up front here as well that there is a queue. So I'm number seven of seven in that queue. So it's not exactly super quick. That said, you can go ahead and download this and use it locally on your computer. But uh, you generally need to know quite a bit of how to do that in order to to make that work, downloading Python libraries and all that mess, it gets pretty ugly. So I like to use the free version, at least for now here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna come back when this is done and then we'll just wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here we go, here are the low resolution shots of, the, of what we got here. And look at that, at least two of them, maybe this one here, are usable. Again, you'll never get this in Midjourney or any of the other models. So I'm gonna click on this first one here. And when I do that, you'll see here that I can now click on the upscale option. This is of course gonna send me into another queue. All right, welcome back. So there we go, look at that. So this model, Deep Floyd IF, is known for its photorealism and it's known for their smart integration of text. Keep in mind that, again, it's still early days, so if you get issues, you can expect that these will be worked out in the future. Also, it's the original launch, so it's only going to get better from here. It's also using a research permitted license, so it's non-commercial at the moment. But again, they will work all this out, but please give it a try. Get ready for it. When it launches, I will have another video for you, and I'll show you how to do all the fancy things in the future. Thank you for watching.